Hi, welcome to JMeter fifth tutorials. Okay, in this session we are going to discuss how we can export our JMeter test result into a CSV file. Okay, in previous my session you have learned how to record script in JMeter. Okay, please watch this video, previous video. So okay, so that you can understand. How we are recording into JMeter? Okay, here I am using see, these are the HTML files I have recorded. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to export our test result to CSV file in JMeter. Okay, see I have uh, HTTP request written. These are my blog software test tutorials dot blogspot dot in. So on this one I am creating a performance test for these HTML pages. Okay. Uh, and I uh, have created a sample report. Okay, let me clear this one. In this one, just you need to add here. You will see in listeners, I think, uh, sample data writer. Okay, simple data writer. We are using simple data writer. This simple data writer will write your test result to the proper CSV file. So I am using CSV. Instead of CSV, you can use Excel or TXT or any files you can use. Not only CSV, you can use any files. Okay. Presently, I am using CSV file. In, in coming classes, we will see how to export into Excel, uh, TXT like the different different uh, file formats so presently i'm using csv okay it is very important why because in this csv using this csv you can easily generate the dashboard report in the jmeter apache jmeter 3.0 so in coming classes i will show you how to we can generate uh, dashboard report using this csv file which is having a this proper test plan results okay so I am uh, saving this file into this test result. Okay, here I am saving. Here I am giving. So just you need to give. Just you have to give that file name. What are the file? This is software testing. Right? I am using testing that CSV. So it will automatically create this CSV file in this path test result folder. J meter. So in this path it will automatically create. Okay. Okay, let me save this one. So once again, I am using two only. So I'm, I will use uh, five users every two seconds, and uh, here I am using five hits. Okay, five virtual users every two seconds, and five loop count. Five one virtual user will have hit that particular page in two seconds for up to five requests. Okay. So if you if you want to give this duration you can give if you want to run this duration you can give okay so i'm just creating this one go to summary report just run this one here it will see four five right every page will hit five times total 25 times it will hit why because i'm giving five into five 25 every two seconds it will hit five request so total is 25 every page will hit as a 25 see 24, 25, half, 25, 25, 25, stop, 100, why because 1, 2, 3, 4, for the 4 pages, 4 pages and it will hit 25, 25, 25, so there is no error, nothing is there, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 5 is completed, okay, here 5, this is a virtual user, this is, okay, total is 100, okay, let me go to that path, see, it is automatically created, right, in CSV file it is created. If you open this one I'm using notepad place to see timestamp, elapsed time, label. These are the label response code 200. 200 means success. Okay, response message is okay. Anything is failed here? Nothing, nothing is a fail. Okay. Date type and thread name one by one. One virtual user, one, one virtual user, two hits, four hits, like that. Okay, success true. Success responses text. Failure message is true. There is no failure. Bytes. This one is a bytes. Is empty. 
failure is nothing success is to data type is a text so bytes this one group threads 3 all threads 3 total latency idle time is 0 okay, okay like this you can export your test result into csv file or exe file or uh, sorry excel file or txt files so using simple data writer which is located in listeners simple data writer okay thank you thank you for watching my tutorials